Hi, everybody. Douglas Mitchell here for another episode of Edmonton Unplugged. Today on the show, we have Short of Able. So stay tuned. Some music stylings are coming your way. On the front page staring me down With weathered eyes and a weary crown The whole thing's spinning around The bowling of the wheels and a singing choir Lower me down and put it in the ground The whole thing's wearing me down chains You pack your bags and leaves today The rhythm of a heartbeat pounding in time Swallow it up Taking your sides, they can't keep robbing you blind. The tables start to turn like merry-go-rounds. Lips are moving and don't make a sound. The earthquake split in the ground. We bar the doors and lock the chains. Walking alone, 
Hi guys, Doug back here with you, and I am with James and Justin of Short of Able. Now, Colin and Devin aren't in with us today, but we were happy that you guys came. Thank you for doing that. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. Um, so, you guys, uh, how long have you been together as, as, a, as a group? Or how long has Short of Able been around? Well, to go back, we actually, our first ever show was in uh, spring of 2008, when we were still kind of figuring out a sound and this and that, but... Uh, since about 2010 on is when we've kind of took a more serious approach with tours and uh, albums and recording. And James, uh, you came in a little bit later? Yeah, I joined the band in 2011 after the uh, original bass player left due to some family commitments and stuff like that. So Justin and I actually grew up in a really small town in Saskatchewan together, so I've known him since I was five years old and yeah. became a pretty good fit. So. Oh, that's cool. So you got, you got a long connection. Are you guys the longest connection in the band? Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. I knew uh, the other guys I met probably in 07 or so, so much sooner than James. <laughs> so you guys have been together a while. Now, uh, as it tends to go with bands, there's ebbs and there's flows, there's personnel changes happen. I've experienced that myself. What is it that uh, you guys sort of have reached to, you know, in the past um, to sort of get you through the times where it feels kind of like, wait, where's the momentum? I think... Uh, I think we all get along really well as friends. I think that helps, uh, you know, outside and in the jam space. But, um, you know, sometimes we'll fall out of a, go in a bit of a slow patch, I guess, and not jam much, but we just kind of, you know, let's get cracking and just play a, an hour of covers and having fun in the jam space, and that seems to get our, the mojo back. <laughs> yeah, it seems that you guys have a very musical sound and, and singing is a, is a big part of it and I always find that the music is a good way to sort of get back into to feeling things. Now as far as songwriting goes, how does that tend to go with, with you guys? It's kind of a, a bit of a collective thing with the entire band. Like, um, it, it can happen too, like lots of times Justin will bring ideas to the jam or I'll bring an idea to the jam or even Devin and then we just kind of collaborate it together and usually, yeah, yeah it's just a I think it's just everybody kind of contributes to the to the most of the songs anyway. It usually starts with a small, pretty small, like a verse and a chorus idea, and then you know, take it from the, take it from nothing, and then build on it. So. So you guys are in the studio right now. We are, yeah. I, have Have you guys come in completely like this is what it's going to be? It's prepared. The songs are written. Or have you found that 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 process has changed anything? Or how's that been for you? Uh, it's been. We actually did our first uh, ever pre-production session with Stu Kirkwood. Uh, the songs were there, but he came in and, you know, gave suggestions and was an outside ear, which, uh, in all our opinions, just made it better and yeah. from all angles. Because before we just, uh, what we wanted was what we laid down. But with Stu's ear and uh, experience, he really made the songs better. It's kind of so. tough, too, because lots of times uh, when we do write new songs, we'd, we, would, we would test them out uh, when we play out-of-town shows just to see what kind of responses we get from them. And, and after a while, you get kind of stuck in the rut of playing the song the same way and thinking that's the way that the song sounds the best and then it's really really cool when you bring in an outside ear and yeah. you get way more ideas to the song that you know that you wouldn't have ever heard before or thought of before which is which is i think excellent for yeah. the for the well, real cool experience yeah. yeah yeah well i know that Stu brings the best out of uh, the musicians he works with and yeah. and uh, i really we're looking forward to hearing what you guys are going to have so thanks for coming on yeah thanks very much for having us yeah that was short of able and uh, thank you. The rhythm of a heartbeat pounding in time, swallowing it up and taking your sides. You can't keep robbing your blind. The tables start to turn like merry go rounds, lips are moving. Don't make a sound Earthquakes split in the ground